One, two, three. Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. I'm finally deciding to actually go hard with YouTube. Um, you know, I've been doing my blog, I've been doing Instagram, and now it's time for me to tackle YouTube. So that's what we're doing here today. I'm back, I'm back. So take the Too Faced powder. Ooh, I'm gonna dip, whoa. The thing about this powder is that it, it, it does a lot. It just literally spilled all over this table. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I'm just gonna pat the powder on my face. Yep, forgot one important step. I'm gonna prime first. Yeah. Using the Tasha Silk Canvas. This stuff is so good. I've had it for a couple months now. So this does leave a slight white cast, but that's gonna go away once you put your foundation on. I'm gonna use the NARS, this is an OG. What is this? The All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Banaris. This color is slightly yellow on me. I like it because the coverage is really great, but the color is just like weirdly yellow, but I'm gonna balance it out with my concealer and all, so we should be fine in the end, but yeah, it's weirdly yellow on me. So see how it's like pulling very, ooh, this is pulling very golden on me, like more golden than I remember. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Finishes the saving grace on this, but ooh, it's just a little, a little too golden. But I mean, it does look good, right? NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Like products that are made together are like from the same brand usually work together because they're from the same brand. So I'm gonna put that to the test and see how this, you know, Radiant Creamy Concealer fares against the Bernaris All Day Weightless Luminous. I am in the shade Amand. Well, I'm using the shade Amand. Amand Day. Amand. Doing the Daniel Fast right now. And if you don't know what the Daniel Fast is, it's basically a fast where you eliminate any type of processed sugars, processed carbs. So like um, any meat and dairy. So you're basically only eating fruit, veggies, whole grains, and like, that's pretty much it. Jesus is Lord. I'm, I'm doing it more so for spiritual reasons, just to get some enlightenment and um, I don't know, just to get some clarity about where my life is supposed to be going, what I'm supposed to be doing, what my purpose is in life. And I feel like I haven't really got that much clarity on that. It's like, I have an idea. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm supposed to be doing that. So I think I'm supposed to be doing that, but I need like a, a sign. To say, like, you know, to say the least, I need a sign. Like, okay, yeah, this is the path you're supposed to go on, or at least some type of overall understanding. Even if it's not like a, this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. It's more like a, this is kind of where you're supposed to be headed. Me doing the Daniel Fast, I'm taking time to, like, read my Bible a little bit more. Um, way more than I was doing before, to be honest. Uh, to um, read my devotionals in the morning, which I didn't read this morning. Whoops. Um, and just to kind of tune my ear to my gut, which is God and what God is telling me. So, sorry, that was a ColourPop um, stick foundation in the color 210C Deep Dark. I thought this was going to be my color for foundation, but yeah, that's, that's definitely not my foundation color. Like with fasting, I can. Um, you can go. Are you going to get food? Yeah, really? And that is my sister's hand. Where are you going? Somewhere you can eat. Okay, McDonald's. 
She's going to get a breakfast biscuit while I have to sit here and eat watermelon. It's just reminding me, my watermelon's in the fridge. I haven't fasted in a minute, y'all. Like, I haven't fasted in a while for, you know, reasons that I will get into in, like, another video. Um, but, and my relationship with God has been very... Right now, I'm also just blending out everything to make it blend seamlessly. My relationship with God has been quite rocky since 2016. Um... Yeah, I will go into more depth about that later, but basically my mom passed away from cancer in 2016. And ever since then, me and my mom were best friends. And so ever since then, it's been a crazy ride. So doing this Daniel Fast was me finally being like, all right, God, I'm ready to, you know, embark on this journey again. Like 2018, I was kind of sort of-ish doing it, but like not really all the way in. So now I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's, let's, let's try this again. Let's see what happens. Um, taking that powder again and just like, I don't bake anymore because um, baking, I don't know, it leaves my under eyes looking hella dry. And I don't, I don't have time for that. Tap, 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 revenge. I'm breaking. I wonder if they still have it. I'm going to check out this video if they still have it. I'm taking some of the excess powder in the cap with my brush and just dabbing that on my face. <laughs> my MAC blush, Desert Rose, whatever the thing is called. This is the only blush I use. Maybe I should upgrade. But to be honest, I don't really, I don't know. Blush to me isn't like the end all be all. I just literally use it to add a pop of color to my face. Nancy, we're getting there. Ugh, I'm trying not to look at the viewfinder. <laughs> no viewfinder, I don't wanna look at you. Hey, this foundation, it's so good. It, it's, it's a little yellow, you know compared to the rest of my body but it kind of like yeah i think i kind of did a decent job i don't know y'all tell me okay i think that's it for my base i'm just trying to make sure i have everything i put a little contour put a little blush i thought i could have contoured my forehead a little bit more but you know here we go the urban decay all nighter spray I got the trial or the travel size version because I was like, I just want to test it out. Yeah, I'm going back for the full size version because this thing sets my makeup. Oh, I just realized I did not do my eyebrows. So I'm going to go on with the spoolie. An eyebrow pencil. This is wet and wild. This is from like Target. Super cheap. Super cheap. And then this Glossier boy brow, which is like literally so good. I brush up brow hairs with the spoolie and then i go in with boy brow which also has a spoolie and this color is brown i literally start from the inner brow and just work my way to the outer brow i kind of like that like bushy eyebrow look now i don't know it's very i don't know i just like it so bring y'all closer so y'all can see what i'm doing with my eyes the Olive Sarai Dose of Colors palette. And this Ace Butte palette, the Grandiose palette, which, oh, look at these colors. I'm gonna take the Ace Butte palette and I think I'm gonna take this color right here as like a, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna take this color right here. That is way too light. Take this color right here and that's gonna be my transition color. Kind of taking that a little more in this area. So that shade is pretty, pretty close to my skin shade, but that's what I wanted. Blending brush, this is the B223. Hmm. All messed up. So great, so great. And I'm taking this color, which I believe is called Poquito Mas in the Dose of Colors I Love Sarai palette. And I'm using that to deepen the crease. Really just work it in there. Work, 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 work. And concentrate it. Kind of right here. Go back with cinnamon from the Ace Butte palette and just kind of add that color back right here. Pope. Pope from this Ace Butte palette. It's like a deep kind of cranberry 
burgundy color and I'm using that to deepen my outer V. So this right here. Also, funny story behind this palette, the A's Butte one. So my coworker, who's now my friend, Juliana, if you see this, hey girl, um, she got this for me for Christmas. So sweet, because I didn't get her anything. <laughs> you have to get this for me, what are you doing? Um, but basically, I was at her place one day getting ready for our company's holiday. I was like, ooh, I want to use that palette. So I was freaking obsessing over it. I was like, this is such a good palette. The color scheme is so nice, oh my God. And she heard me saying that. I shed a tear, literally, literally shed a tear because was not expecting that at all. Super sweet. Big myrtle, which is like this coppery, this copper color, it's really pretty. Wow, that's like really pretty. Whoa, okay, hello. Okay, Myrtle. Nice little copper color. That thing did not come to play with this. So I'm gonna take Myrtle on like the half, half of my lid. I don't wanna put it all over. the burgundy color that I use on the outer V and I'm kind of using that to deepen out the crease just a bit. Going back with Myrtle. I've been giving birth to these haters cause I'm fertile. See my double D's in this way, Myrtle. This loungy is this black shimmer shade from the Dose of Colors palette. And literally, it's it's very pigmented. I'm just taking a little bit, just <gasps> the slightest amount. Oh, this is not the right brush. Brush like this that has like a, a super flat shader brush. I'm gonna take that black color. It's like black. Ooh, a black. Ooh, it might be a little more black than I wanted. Just gonna rub that on the bottom. Just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. I'm just gonna lightly tap it right here. And it's on tap. Wow, that black color is black. Ooh. I don't think I was ready for all that. It's okay though, we're gonna take a little bit more poppy and just blow that out. Um, camera's stripping, <laughs> it keeps shutting off. I think the temperature of the light is making it go haywire. But anyway, I finished this eye super quickly, so I'm just gonna finish this eye on camera. Um, so I basically took this little flat shader brush and I dipped it a little bit, just a little bit into um, loungy, like, like a little bit, because this thing is black, like way blacker than I thought. Um, and then I went um, into Poppy from the Ace Beat palette, Poppy. Okay, and then I rubbed that underneath my eye. Go back into Cinnamon in the Ace Beat palette, that brownish shade. And I'm gonna just gonna dust that with this like smaller blending brush. Dust it lightly under my eyes. And Using the Revitalash, mm, wrong way, hello. Revitalash mascara is double sided. There's a primer on one end and then like the mascara on the other end. Mascara primer, primer. <laughs> I sound like I'm from New York. Mascara primer, I don't really understand. So I'm just gonna go in with the mascara because that's all I care about. And I'm really, I don't wear falsies on like the usual. So I'm, I, I don't plan to put any on. 
Sometimes freestyling is good. The glue kit. This is like the OG OG. <laughs> it's OG, but as you can see, ah, it looks like I barely used it because there was a point I stopped using it because I was using Fenty. Fenty broke on me. So Fenty is no longer here. Rest in peace, Fenty. I'm gonna get some more of you though. So I'm going to go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with bronze mixed with tourmaline. My problem with ABB, or ABB, Jesus, ABH highlight is that sometimes I feel like it pulls ashy. <laughs> Let's see if that's changed. Okay, here. I'm going in so slightly. Ooh. It's like, hmm. I feel like the Fenty one is like wet. It's kind of wet, which is the look I like. I'm just going to go on with this one though. I'm already here. I need to just finish it. It's all right. I feel like, I don't know, it's pulling the ashy on me in. So what I'm going to do is spray some rose water to make it look a little more dewy because I don't want my highlights to be looking ashy. No, we don't want that. So for lips, I have some options. And this brand called Atomic Makeup sent me some lip colors. And they all kind of go with this vibe right here. So, so I'm trying to see what will go with this look. My lips are already moisturized because of my Vaseline. Thank you, Vaseline. Thank you very much. I'm going to take the ColourPop Lip Liner in BFF3. Align my lips. The transition shade between my skin color. Oh, I overlined that. Whoa. Between my skin color and the lip color, we don't want it to look too cray cray. I'm going with Untouchable. Ooh. 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 It's pretty. It's pretty. Take a little bit of tie me up just to add some. Okay, yeah. Ooh, 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 that's a, com that's a combo. And that is the finished look, y'all. It's finished look, yes, this is a look. Well, thank you guys for watching. I know this is probably a little drawn out. You know, it's my first time doing something like this, so I'm trying to get into the mode of it, trying to get into the rhythm, trying to get into the, the swing of things. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, I will see you on my next vid because there will be a next vid and there will be another one and there will be another one because you know who's about to stay consistent? This girl. These are from Zara. They were from the Zara sale. They were like $7. They're clip-ons. They're heavy, but they're cute. I will see you guys in my next video. For real, for real. Talk to you later. Bye!